Welcome to the nine days edition of the Short Vort. We have now entered the morning month of Av, the one which describes that Mishnichnas Av Ma'atim B'Simcha, that when one enters Av, you minimize joy. It does not say that you can't have joy. It's just that you minimize it in contrast to the month of Adar, which says Mishnichnas Adar Ma'arbim B'Simcha, we should multiply joy. With these words, we hope to have an inspiration about the coming Gula Bimhera Biyamenu. It says that Kolam is Abel al Yushalayim, whoever mourns on Jerusalem, Zocher Guroeh Besimchasa, merits to see in its joy. The Gemara in Bab Basra asks or points out, it does not say that he will see in its joy, but that he sees in its joy. Yet the question remains, how come after 2,000 years of people pouring out their hearts, of crying rivers of tears, that we still have not had the Mashiach? And how is it that we can say that these people saw the joy of Jerusalem even as they mourned with it? The answer perhaps can be explained in the following way. When it comes to an individual's death, Hashem gives us a blessing one that over time we will forget about the dead person and we will not grieve as much. However, this does not apply when the loss is about someone who's living, as we saw by Yaakov Avinu, who could not be comforted over the loss of his son Yosef. For 22 years he mourned. And the reason he did not forget is because Yosef, in fact, was not dead. He was still alive. The same concept of Forgetting on an individual level, someone who passes away, applies also on a collective level. Over the history, there have been many nations that one way or the other, they have gone down from their greatness and disappeared. They've been killed or exiled. And even if there was initially a remembrance, who now remembers these nations? However, there is one exception, and that is Klal Yisrael, the Bnei Yisrael, and Yushalayim. We've been mourning for nearly 2,000 years the destruction at the Second Temple. And the reason for that is a lesson that tells us that Yushalayim is still alive. Because if it wasn't still alive, we would no longer be mourning it. And that knowledge that, it, that it's still alive gives us hope that the Yeshua will come soon. And that knowledge that it's still alive is to give it the joy that each person throughout the generations who has mourned for Jerusalem has been able to take some comfort in and have some joy, even if the complete gula has not come yet. And we find that once the Tisha B'Av has come and passed, we will celebrate and return to normal. Even though nothing has changed, we do not have the gula. But because we had the knowledge that we passed the test, that we did born for, for Yerushalayim, once again, we have kept Yerushalayim alive. We know that we will have the ultimate redemption and the ultimate joy in Herobi Thank you for listening.